Alright everybody, Nell's Infinity here. I'm not using the green screen so you guys see my lovely posters in the background. I'm here with Hellboy. We're just going to play some Phasmophobia. I just wanted to kind of see the settings, see if anything needs to change, uh, be adjusted and whatnot. I've never streamed this before so I figured I'd let you guys see one of the games or a couple games we play. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be on here so just uh, check it out, see if you guys are interested. I've already joined from the main menu here. So you would just either create a server or join a server. You just punch a code in up here. So you would just hit this right here so you can see this code. And you can copy it, send it in Discord wherever you guys are chatting. What not? So, uh, yeah. So we're joining this one. And uh, I was originally in here. But yeah, so it looks like the house we're going to do is the farmhouse. And we're just doing amateur. Uh, if you die and whatnot. Things you buy here and add, you uh, so you can buy here, scroll through and buy stuff. What you own already is in your inventory. You can add these, take them back. But when you die, you get part of it back if you play on amateur. So it'll give it back to you in money. So it's considered an insurance. But uh, yeah. All right. So what do we need? <clears throat> you got everything, or oh, we still need that a motion sensor? Yeah. I don't have no money, and I added in everything I had. Strong flashlight, I'm gonna add one of those. Okay, you got two cameras, I'm assuming? Video Ooh. cameras, three? Okay. Uh, I got two photo cameras, and video cameras, I have three. Yeah, alright, so we got candle, lighter, crucifix, smudge, salt, spirit box, tripods, those. Alright, I need the sanity pills, need two of those. And I think a thermometer. Yep, thermometer. Um, the sound sensor and these other sensors seems a little bit unnecessary at the moment, to be honest. Doesn't really seem to, to work with anything right this second. And we got a crucifix. Yep, we got one there. Okay, yeah, it looks like we got everything, man. So, alright, I'm ready. Hell yeah. I'm right here. Just wait for this key to spawn. You guys always gotta remember to grab this key right here by the keyboard. Oh. So. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, I at least wanted to just get like one of these recorded to see how it looks and sounds. Kind of get an idea of I need to adjust anything for this game before we ever stream it. So, the only way I know that is by streaming it. Damn, I'm taking you forever to load in. There we go. All right, we're here. So if you guys are ever curious why it might take somebody to longer or yourself longer or faster to load in on stuff. It all has to do with your processor. So I'm running it on i9. Hellboy's on an i5, so a little more of a delay for him to load in. So, E is to interact, so you can click stuff with E. Uh, so you grab all these things with E on the keyboard, and then you can scroll through with the mouse wheel. And then right click to turn stuff on and off. Like this. So, We're in here. How do you move your mouse over to your other screen? How do you do that? Oh, uh, you gotta hit escape, and then you can scroll over. Oh. Alright, so okay. our objectives, so when you come in, here's the camera here. If you grab a camera, right here, scroll to the camera, you're gonna right click it, you're gonna look right here on the tripod, and then you'll hit F to place it. Now watch, you come over here, you'll see a number two on the screen here. It's a little hard to see. See, like that, see number two? You can go like this and you click the mouse to rotate between the cameras. Like that, rotate through the cameras here. And then the, this is night vision, normal. This just changes between the cameras, so night vision, like that. We're in 
outside with a lot of, bunch of lights, so go ahead and turn it to regular. And then if you want to pick these up, you got to have nothing in your hand. You would grab this bar right here. And whatever direction you're facing, if you're like, this doesn't have a camera, but if it did, you would look that direction, scroll the mouse wheel, and it would drop. I know, I stole that from you. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting to put the camera on it. So look, if you were to do it again, you gotta grab that bar right there with nothing in your hand. So E, walk around, you see the camera's pointing in the direction of my mouse. So if I wanted it to face out there, scroll the mouse wheel, and it points in that direction. So you always want to make sure the camera's on before you place it on the tripod. Otherwise, you gotta take it back off and turn it on. Um, all right, so we gotta. These are all the objectives you gotta do. You gotta basically try to do numbers two, three, and four. This gives you a description of the ghosts and always tells you their name here. Uh, that you can call out in the spirit box. Um, and then overall, you're trying to get what type of ghost it is. So if you hit J, you open this journal, click the double arrows. You want to try to basically scroll through and get different evidence here. And then based on what three evidence you get, it will minimize it to which type of ghost type it is down here. And then you can also use the beginning of the book to tell you descriptions and give you a general idea of what type of ghost it might be based on what you have partially. And then as you take pictures, they show up in these areas and they'll star rate them. So Hellboy and I found that crouching and getting a really close picture tends to help you a lot on points. And this timer, it's five minutes for amateur. I think two minutes for intermediate and professional is instant. This means the ghost can't hunt you for that many minutes. And then uh, you got the map up here. You left click the mouse. You can see the different floors, different levels. Uh, if you look at the map, there's a green bar right here. That's always the door, showing you where the door is doors on it. Here. Here. We're probably coming in this door, I think. Uh, if you put different sensors down, these sound sensor and stuff will tell you the stuff. This is your sanity, your average. So, just watch this play. You guys will get an idea of kind of how it all works out. Alright, so we need an EMF reader, photo of the ghost, and a motion sensor. What objects did you pick up? The EMF and the sensor. Alright, I'll grab one of these cameras. So if we find any bones or anything right off the bat. You walk with W, A, S, and D here. And then uh, this is normal speed. And then this is sprint. This is shift. It's basically like slow walk and super fast walk. Well, it's like slow walk and normal walk, more like it. And then you left click the lights, turn them on. Amateur, the lights are always on to start. After a while, they'll, uh, you know, you want to keep your sanity up, so try to keep some of the lights on. Amateurs, uh, kind of down. Turn these off, turn too many lights on, you flip the breaker. So when you generally find a ghost, you'll figure out that it's about... Oh, here's the bone on the couch. First time I've ever seen that. Uh, yeah, generally when you find a ghost, this temperature will sit somewhere around like 9, like 8, 9 degrees, uh, all the way down to negative. So, it gives you kind of a hint of where they might be. You uh, left click the, the sinks to turn them on. If the water turns brown, take a picture of that. You get a dirty water photo there. Turn these on. There's Ouija boards in here. So if you see one, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Not sure exactly what the number of uh, lights you can have on at a time, but. I think I found probably about five. We're around about five lights out toward uh, 
Eclipse Breaker. Oh, I like how you shut it off. There's the breaker, if you ever need it. This red box, you just come up and you left click it on and off. Alright, I'm feeling like I'm not seeing anything cold down here. Oh yeah, with the doors, some open out, some open in. You gotta left click, hold it down, and move your mouse that direction. Like when you walk up, you gotta grab it, swing it open. Yeah, I'm not thinking it's going to be down here, man. No. Nope. It just seems too warm. I'm going to leave this front room on in case we run down here. Okay. We'll just have the light and I'll uh, crack this door a little bit. That way you can get through the door. There's not a way to make your cursor, like, more noticed, is there? No. <laughs> oh, no dirty water. Oh, all five bars. It's in that room. Because I had all five bars. Let's see how the temperature is below 10, like 8, 9 right here. Yep. If you guys listen. Oh, you still hear the ghost move. Do you know that door is shut? Shutting it on me. Alright, we'll drop this. Drop this camera. We'll go grab a couple more items. Ah, uh, you already took off. Mm-hmm. So you're level five. Did you get freezing temps? No, no. There's just really low. Like six degrees, seven degrees, eight degrees, kinda in that range right now. So, try to, uh, see, I'm gonna get the spirit box, and I'll get the book, just so we can get those down, because sometimes that thing writes, writes, uh, writes in them, even if we don't ask. Oh, look at that, EMF and a motion sensor. Nice. These are sanity bills, right? DMF. Right click it on and off. Look. Just gotta place it. Hit F. F to place things. F to light the candle. That kind of stuff. Uh, when you want to talk to the spirit box, you can hold it or have it on the ground. But you gotta be in the room that it's in or right outside the door. You hold B to talk to it. So. Need a crouch. Book in here. Yeah. Can you write in the book? Will you write in the book? Can you speak to me? Yeah, I already, already stepped in the salt. Yeah, all that walking around, it uh, moving around. So for you guys that might have thought it was him, actually the spirit walking around. Ghost. I bet you it's gonna be that same one with no ghost orbs, because I bet you it's gonna pop up right in front of that window like last time. Oh, maybe. Look at the camera. Oh, that light's on. And the door's shut a little bit. Yeah, let's try to show you guys the orbs if we see them. You'll see like a little white dot just kind of hover like this around. That'll be a ghost orb. 
All right, sanity's at 80, 76, so we're doing pretty good still. Ooh. All right, um... I got the candle and the crucifix. I'll grab the regular camera so I can carry it easier. And... Uh, I guess I'll grab the lighter since you have the candle. So your best bet, everybody, when you're playing this, is just go ahead and hold shift the whole time. So just so that way you walk the fastest speed all the time. Uh, yeah. Alright, where'd you put that camera? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. That wrote in the book. There you go. Oh, yeah, it did write in the book. I'm gonna set this one right inside the door here. You hold the left mouse button to rotate this. Yeah, place. Alright, let me get a picture of that real quick. Alright, I'll go ahead and drop that right here. Alright, where's the candle? Oh. Right there in the middle of the room. Alright, make sure the lighter is on. Pull the candle, hit F. You can place it. Can you blow out the candle? Can you speak to me? Can you speak to us? Can you blow out the candle? Can you give us a sign? Can you ask that? That's usually when shit starts happening. I'm gonna try to drop the lighter here. Hopefully we can pick it back up. Alright, yeah. It says I can pick it up still. I always uh, bring it over here on shelves and drop the lighter on shelves. Oh. Alright, well I'm gonna... Go grab some more stuff. Grab a couple more items. Uh... One thing. Yeah, the light will do this. Yes, no. Alright, we'll get this smudge stick. Grab this black light. Check for fingerprints with this bad boy. Smudge the room. Is notice my hands. Like, I'm literally a white dude. But my hands are black. Cracks me up. Oh yeah, there ain't no ghost orbs. Oh, can you grab this other tripod? I actually wanted to put that tripod in the back corner by the window so we can see, like, by the door if it closes. Can you check the camera to make sure it's still on? Oh, yeah, there it was. Yeah. That was our sanity. Oof, we're gonna probably need to take some pills pretty soon. You was gonna put this swear? Right at the window up there. So go like in and to the left corner by the window when you walk in the door there. And just turn around in that corner and drop it so that way it angles towards the door. Alright, I'll be in there with you. Yeah, so yeah, over here. Yep, that corner. Yeah, that way it's like angled kind of towards this door in case the orbs. Oh, we got fingerprints. You can grab that camera real quick. Oh, oh! I heard that. Can you see it? Mm. Hold it right there. You get it? Okay. We got fingerprints. Grab this lighter. We got five, uh, three stars. Like a smudge stick. Watch that room. Holy shit. Did you 
not hear that? Oh yeah, that was in my ear. I was in the middle of the room. Putting down that one sensor. Did you turn the light off or, or what? No. No, I put the uh, sound sensor right there. By the washer. Oh, okay. But the right EMF now. meter only went off one time. At five, it hasn't went off yet. <clears throat> Alright, we'll have to update our uh, book in a second. All the lights just went out. Yep. Alright, let's get that power back on then real quick. While we have a chance. Help keep our sanity up. I only got two photos to be able to get this freaking ghost picture. Oh no, we got a whole nother camera. Yeah. Alright, cool. That works nice. Is that dirty so, yet? Nope. See, I think we always need two cameras just in case, you know, we take one or two pictures of the same thing. At least we got another backup. Yeah, you got it? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Two cameras is probably smart because fingerprints, ghost event, if a book falls on the ground, it throws stuff, you dead bodies. Yeah, there's... Oh, I'm coming back here. In this little room. Oh god, it's hunting. There's a the room. And plus, some levels you go to, you get five photos, or sometimes you only get three pictures. Yeah. Oof. Alright. Power still on. Yeah, our sanity yep. was like at 60, around 60 when we came in a minute ago, so. I want to try to get our sanity back up. Damn, yeah. we went in there, dude, and it was 60-something for each of us. Holy crap, you went down horribly fast. Alright, so take your pills. I'm gonna take Man. mine right away so I can carry this lighter. That sensor's going off quite a bit. Oh, yeah, it keeps opening the doors. Opening and closing. Man, I wish there was ghost orbs. No. And it's probably gonna do what it did last time. Last time it was just right there in the middle of the windows. Oh yeah, probably. Let's see, is there anything else besides just that one camera? I'll go ahead and carry the one camera too, just in case if I see it before you do or whatever. Oh yeah, do it. Yeah. Well, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. Oh yeah, so before we walk in, I need to go ahead and put, go into J, put ghost writing, because she wrote, they wrote in the book. And Why then, did the EF5, is that was the first one, then ghost writing? The EMF5? Yeah, when I went in that room, when I said, it's in this room, it went up to level 5. Oh, okay, then ghost writing, and then fingerprints. And then that would say that it's a revenant. So, but we need a picture though. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we need a picture. Alright. Yeah. And, so. and it's right click, right? Yeah, right click. Camera? But it's kind of a delay though. It doesn't snap the photo right away though. I wish you can take like these cameras that's on the tripod and set them as like a motion detector so when something walks in front of it the camera automatically flashes and you know tries to take a picture. Oh 
I'm thinking of grabbing this freaking crucifix, man. So it's on me in case he tries to hunt. Yeah, but would that stop me? T would it stop it from haunting me too if I'm right beside you? Uh, I'm not positive. It's just supposed to stop it if it's like within six feet of me. I figure you have the camera. I have a crucifix. Should probably be all right. If you guys aren't holding the flashlight, you have to turn it all off with T. If you're holding the flashlight, it's just right click. I wonder what happened if I hide right there on the stairs? Like as it walks oh. out, sit there and just run up the stairs? Yeah, we can do that. We can try hiding up in the attic. I mean, that would give us a little bit of, you know, because I mean, I could do it like right here. Like when it comes out, I can take a picture, then run upstairs. I was thinking about the couch for me. Yeah, do the couch. I'm gonna try to run back to behind the barrel. Try to see if I can get it while it's walking past before it comes up the stairs. Hope I don't get stuck up here. Scary. Like, hello. I thought you turned the lights on up there. Ah, flip the switch, it's next to you. Alright, there you go. Dude, you could, I was going to say, you almost could be up here. Just stand up here and get a picture. Like, stand right here facing the room if it comes out. And then if it comes to the bottom of the stairs, snap it, and then you have time to, like, run, you know, like, yeah. behind some. I'll run behind this deal. Yeah, you could try that. But maybe you look right here by the door, that door there, and I'll mm -hmm. try to look at the bottom of the stairs right here behind you. So if it starts to come towards the stairs, maybe I can snap a photo real quick. And then we can just run behind uh, the stuff over there. It'll take it a second to get up the stairs, so we might have time to hide behind that stuff. Oh yeah. Worst case scenario, one of us dies, and the other just books it, but hopefully we get a picture. Can you speak to us? us. I don't know if it's going to hear me. <laughs> hey, right now that Devour game, man, that, that one freaking gets me like every time I freaking jump. Oh shit, hey, here, here we go. Uh, haven't seen it yet. Oh, I hear it. Oh, damn it. I don't know where it went. I seen it and tried to take a picture. But I think that pole down there is just in the way. Or your crucifix stopped it from haunting us. I don't know, it's still hunting though. Yeah, but I don't hear it thunking. No, oh, my cross is still full. Huh. That's weird, it didn't even bother like coming at us up the stairs here. Yeah, I got zero stars on that one I try to take. Because that stupid pole's in the way. It was like a shadow. It looked like it was crawling, but I couldn't really tell. Uh-oh, here we go. Looking right at the door here. Yeah, I'm looking too. 
only got two pitchers, so try to get it coming out. Oh, I'll probably waiting for us to come by the freaking door. Mm-hmm. Be so scary. We're all standing here waiting for it to come out, and it just appears behind us. Oh, that would scare shit out of me. Hell yeah. I'd like to see you. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Oh shit! What? Damn it, neither of us are getting anything. Alright, it's not hunting. I tried to turn on my flashlight and I accidentally right clicked and I still had the camera. <laughs> See, I see that one I took in the book. You can totally see the shadow of it, but it's don't count. Oh, it's straight up. Whoa! Turn the power off. It's gonna get me. I hear it thumping. Lights off. Stop hunting. True. Walk with me. I got the crucifix. Might help us. Dang right. My ears were sitting there thumping. No, I have no power, so. Uh oh, go in this room. What room? Right here. Hurry, that thing's going off. I'm gonna hide back here. I'm hiding somewhere. Ooh, it's oh, it's in the room. Fuck, I heard it. Oh, I oh, hear it. Oh, shit, it got me. Is that it? Yep. Dang it. Where'd your camera go? I was probably. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, my camera's right here. Uh, walk straight to your left. Yeah, it's like right there where you're standing. Oh, I just threw that one down. Oh, that's the one you threw down? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess your freaking camera. It's, it's right. Do you see my flashlight over here in no, the corner? I don't see none of your stuff, dude. Well, my camera and stuff's right here in the. The corner. Yeah, I didn't see nothing on my screen. Where right. do you go? Walked out the damn front door, man. There's no power on. So hold on, I gotta check my shit. I'm like, oh god, probably have no sanity right now. Oh, I got six percent, dude. Ugh. Alright, so we didn't capture a ghost, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, we got that it's a revenant, so. We're just not gonna get the bonus picture for the ghost. I think we need to start carrying three cameras. Yeah. So, in case if I die and you're out, there's still that one camera. I know, it's crazy. Let's see. So, that didn't get nothing. I don't even know what the hell that looks like. Yeah, and if you look at my. one of my pictures. You can see the shadow of it. Oh, yeah, you can see it crawling on the ground by over that black light, UV light. 
Yeah, but there ain't no yeah, stars. Give you anything for it though. That's mm -hmm. weird. Right, then the well, one upstairs by the blue tote, that's when I was trying to show off my flashlight. Which one? The blue tote upstairs? Yeah, like by the couch. I just see a picture of a, a edge of a couch, the stairs, boxes, and that little mannequin thing up there. I don't yeah. see a blue tote, but that's probably the one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, mine shows a blue tote right in front well, of we it. we got three, three, three stars, so that's good. Yeah, yep. we just didn't get the ghost, but, uh, yeah, so EMF5, ghost writing, fingerprints, revenant. Yep. Alright. At least get this, so. Alright, I'm gonna have to click and cancel that out. And you guys will see how the, how it all ends here. How it wraps up. You gotta try to at least have somebody survive, so that way you can exit out. So we didn't get the ghost picture, so that's what this is, but we got it right. So we got a revenant. Got objective. Objective. Got some photos. What was objective three? The uh, ghost picture. Oh, it was a ghost picture. XP. Showing you your level. This right here will tell you how much time you're in the light, in the dark, in the room, inside, investigating. How many events, how many hunts, how many interactions with the ghost, so they say 68 things the ghost has done in the game. So yeah, but uh, yeah, alright, well, I wanted to show you guys a little bit, so Nell's Infinity here, thanks for having me. Uh, where life never ends, hopefully you guys check it out again, I'll try to do a little bit more of these the next time. Um, but I just want to give you guys a little look, kind of see how it looks and stuff, and uh, I'll see how it sounds, so hopefully everything works out for you guys well, and the chat volume's good and everything. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys check out the uh, next stream I have. Uh, take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.